Evernote is my favorite tool for getting my teaching life organized. I love it because you can synchronize between your iPhone, iPad, online Evernote, or the desktop app that you see here. I have mine organized by tags. The tags are on the left hand side. You can also organize it by separate notebooks. So if I click my classroom management tag, I have made a list of supplies I need, to-do list. I also organize completely with my lesson plans on Evernote. I'll throw in an image of the project I want to do next, type in some criteria, and even record a message that I want to keep for later. Not only can you add audio or images, but you can also upload documents like a PDF. There was a lesson plan I had and I just uploaded it. Now here's how you add a note. So there's just a quick note button at the top. Title it what you want. I'm doing a lesson with Frank Stella, so I'm going to put in Stella. And then adding the tags is how I keep myself organized. And since I've already typed in some of these tags, they show up for me right away. So to add an image, find it off of your desktop or the internet. And this one I found via Pinterest. I'm pulling it right over and it shows right up into my Evernote. Now, if I have something else like a video on Frank Stella, let's say I want to do it a different way. There's this kind of pin button for Evernote. If you click on it, then you will be linked to your notebook, put in your tags, so again, I want to put the similar ones because it's a fifth grade project, it's a lesson plan, and it's about Stella. You can either clip the full page or you can just clip the URL. I like to clip the full page because it creates a hyperlink with the image that's on there. So once you've done that, on my desktop here, um, I have to hit sync so it shows up. And there it is. Now when it when it does it from YouTube, it kind of has a little extra stuff. I'll just highlight that and hit delete. But then when I click on it, it links directly to the video so I have it ready to go to show the students. It's sort of like an interactive lesson plan. Now by creating separate notebooks, this lets you share your notebooks with your students as a read-only file with a URL address, or you can just have it shared via email and have your colleagues collaborate with you on an idea.